guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> How are you guys doing today? Where's all this kind of thought? Truly got to clean up this craft room. Hello, everyone. Welcome, everyone. How are you guys doing? Hey, everyone. Welcome, everyone, in. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you guys. I hope you guys had a fantabulous day. Um, my name is Veronica Anderson. I'm the owner and creator of Reese by Veronica. And uh, today is day six of my 12 days of Christmas. So I wanted to come live here. As you can see, I don't have my craft clothes on. I just uh, had a busy Sunday. Uh, today, tomorrow is my daughter's birthday, so today we went to brunch. It was just a small group of us because you know we want to keep it small, you don't want to have a big fun, a lot of people. So, we went to brunch today, it was nice. I truly enjoyed that. So, after brunch, you know, we started at 12, we didn't leave there till later on that by two something. Then I had errands, then I had to go to the grocery store, and then it was time to come and do the live. So I said, well, you know what? I'm not going to change clothes. I'm just going to hop on in and just get ready and dive in here. I know you guys are okay with that. So I want to dive in here and get started with day six of 12 Days of Christmas. How about that? With Reese by Veronica. So what I'm going to do to make sure I don't get a lot of stuff on my clothes because we're going to be dealing with some glitter. And, you know, glitter can be a beast. It truly can. So, I'm going to put my apron on. That way, I can hide, not have so much glitter on me. And, uh, because today, we're going to be making some ornaments, some cute little ornaments. You know, something that you can just do quickly. And also, you can do with your kids or grandkids or whomever you want to do it. Or just for yourself to put on your Christmas tree. So we're going to start by, we got these bugs here, clear bugs. We're going to use some clear bugs. And I know you guys have seen these. They are all arrayed at the craft stores because you can do whatever with these. And, uh, you know, you can make them as bubbles when you, uh, for Halloween, for a skeleton. These can be like little bubbles for the uh, skeleton or however. You can get those at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, all the craft stores that's out there. I'm going to put a little knot up here because this is going to bug me. So what you guys been doing today? You guys had a great day? Hello, everyone. Hello to all of you guys. Hello, hello. Great. So I put a little knot in there so it won't hang too much. But let's get started. So we got these little bugs here we're going to be working with today. And we're going to be working with some glitter, of course. So I'm going to lower the camera now just a tad bit so you can get a good eye view. We're going to be working with this glitter here. And I normally use fine glitter, guys. I use fine glitter because it works better. And then also we're going to be using some Mod Podge. And we're going to be using some polycrylic uh, mini wax. You know, we gonna, that's how we're going to get the uh, the glitter to, to stay into the clear ball. So, I don't know if you guys have already made these before. You probably have. But, however, I'm going to put my twist on it. And then you'll see how I do mine. How about that? So, we're going to start by taking the lid off of this one. what I should do let me tell you something the trick to this to keep it from sticking is putting like a Vaseline on it and it won't do that but I didn't and I want to shake it up just a little bit I don't want to shake it up too much now 
with this. Sometimes that um, and I'm gonna use this container to place it in there once I pour the wax in. So what I'm gonna do first is pull the wax in. And it's this poly acrylic wax. And I purchased this at uh uh where I purchased this from Walmart. That's where I purchased it from. So I'm gonna put some in here already. Just a little bit. And this uh, wax has been here. I've been having this for a while. So what I'm going to do now is I'm looking for my funnel. I seen it. Hold on, guys. I did see it earlier, but that's okay. We're just gonna we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna pour it just like this, and hopefully I don't make a mess. So if I had the funnel, I wouldn't worry about it if I had made a mess or not. So what we're going to do is I got some water. I did remember that is just turn it all the way around try to make sure we get all those little bubbles out and i'm gonna do it real slow because you see those bubbles in there we don't want so i do this just like this so we're making ornaments guys And I'm using the wax, polyacrylic wax. I got it from Walmart, and it's not expensive. So, see how the bubbles are leaving? Because you have to do it slow. If you do it slow, you won't have to worry about that. So I'm just let all of that drip right there. And then we're going to work on the other one while that's dripping in there. And what we're going to do is make one of these. I don't know if you guys have ever made these with the yarn. These are pretty cool. You can make them with uh, different colors. You can also uh, double the colors. Uh, make two, uh, have the same color on, on uh, two different colors on the ball. But since this is a smaller uh, ball, I'm only going to use one color. Now, however, what I do, if I use, if I choose to use a uh, blue yarn or uh, any different color yarn and the ball is white like this, I normally, normally paint it. So when I go around with it, now you don't have to, that's just me being extra. So I normally paint it red or I paint it blue or green or whatever color that I'm choosing to use the yarn with. But since this is white, I'm going to go with just leaving it white and it's white. So I'm going to go with the white yarn. <clears throat> and, and I use the chunky, uh, the chunky, chunky yarn, yarn. I use this type right here. And you can get this here at the craft store. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. They have them half. 30% off uh, every other week so you can get that and sometimes I just load up on them and have it uh, get them done get my little different colors so what how I do I start I use a pen this is a knit uh, craft uh, a quilting pen I like using these instead of the uh, the U pen that you put in like for floral pens 
I don't like those, but I use them anyway sometimes. But I found that these are better because they straight and they go straight in. So I start off by this here. And what I do is... <clears throat> I don't want to waste these. <clears throat> I put a dab of glue on here. Just like this. And then I find my middle. Where I'm going. And I just put it right there in the center. And you notice we're using this chunk, uh, chunky yarn uh you don't see the pin at all and it's straight down so if you use the floral pin with the u shape it got the two prongs in it and i think this works better for me now however whatever your preference is whatever you choose to use you can roll my sleeves up a little bit so and all i do is take the glue and go around i glue this right here get it started and I go close to where the top is now this is an awesome project to use now when you're using these doing it with this here with the little balls like this here if you are creating a snowman or something like that using that and also you can use these into your wreath as well you know when you use different colors if you need in some big ornaments you know those are cute and you can use these to make uh you know how they make the lollipops you can use that with that too making the lollipops now with making the lollipops you would need some flat uh floor uh flat foam and I'm going to show you that, the flat foam that you would need to do that, <clears throat> to make the lollipops. So now all you do is go all the way around. Just keep gluing it down just like this it's easy peasy just have to take your time and make sure you go as close as you can be close to each other now also you know how they have the pins with the pearls on them you know in the in the uh, wedding section of the like in Hobby Lobby or even at Michaels or any of the craft stores you can put those pins into there to add more uh, you know just give it a different look and then that way your ornament will look totally different now you can put these on your trees or you can make some big ones you know like these like this big one I had if you need I have you can stick these in your trees, but you will nestle them in all the way in. That way when people walk up, you don't want to hang them in there. You just can nestle them into your tree. And that would be cute. Do y'all make ornament balls or what do you do? You just buy your own ornaments and put them on there now i do have purchased my ornaments and put them on but however if you want some wording on it you can make your ornaments that way Now, you don't have to use the chunky yarn. 
you can use the thin yarn they have the real thin one that's not as chunky as this but you would have to use a lot and you would have to go around it quite a, a lot you know see this cover up a lot of surface when you use the thicker yarn so that's why i like using it because it covered up the surface real well with it Hi, Joanne. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. I want to thank all of you guys for tuning in. So I want to come on live because, um, yes, it is the sixth day, but I didn't want to wait too late to come on because uh, tomorrow is the work day for all of us. And... So all we do is keep going all the way around with this. This is soothing as well, making these very relaxing. Cause I get into my crafting and I forget I'm live cause I, I had a, like yesterday, my daughter had put a question in there, and when we was at brunch, she said, I put my question in there, and, and I would kept saying to myself, look at the comments. I said, girl, I don't have nobody to, to read the comments, so every now and then I get up. Hello, Kevin. We're making some ornaments today. Making some cute little ornaments. So I'm quite sure you guys have made this before, right? Haven't you guys made these before? Got some red feather on there because we got some red feathers that we're going to work with. These are cute. You need to try it, cat. Now, if you would do these with your grandkids or whatever, I will be careful with the hot glue because you don't want them to get burned. So I would just do the glitter ornaments with them, not the hot glue one like what we're doing right now. <clears throat> I just love the way that feels. Now, if you got a spot in there that get buckled up or something like that, all you have to do is put some more, uh, put glue there, and you can... Get it in the spot that it needs to be in. We 
almost to the end. So all you do is go all the way around. Now, like I stated earlier, if you want to do like different colors, you can. And uh, you want to do two ribbon at a time, two colors at a time, you can do that as well. So, and what I'm going to do is cut this. Yeah. Over. These are not my scissors that I use, but that is okay. So what I'm going to do is put another pin in there. I'm just putting a pin just like this. And I'm going to put some glue on it. On the tip of it. And you're going to just stick it down in there. Now, as you can see, you do not see the pin here or here. Cute little ball. I'm loving it. And if you wanted to put these into your uh, wreath of some sort, you can, uh, you can glue this part down real good and just stick it in there. Or you can put a nice, uh, uh, a nice, make an, a puncture in it with an awl that I have here. You would make a puncture in there right there. And then you will put in a little miniature stick of some sort in there. Yeah, this is yarn. This is the very, uh, this big chunky, chunky, chunky. I don't know why I keep trying to say chunky. No, it's not chunky. Chunky, like chunky, large, thicker yarn. Yeah, so I'm liking that. I'm feeling them because I like the way it feels. It's very soft. So now we're going to get back to doing this bad boy that we have here. When did I let it all go out? Probably did, but I'm gonna see something here. No, I'm gonna use this one. See, this is where I need my funnel. And I seen it earlier, but I can't remember where I seen it at. Isn't that something? You can see something and say, oh, I need that. And then when you um, when you need it, you can't remember where you where you seen the joker at. So as you can see, the wax is allowing the glitter to stick on it. Now, other people have said they use floor wax and that uh, other type of wax. Trust me, I have tried all those different wax. And uh, floor shine, uh, glow, glow, they glow uh, wax. Um, that, I have tried that. I also have tried another thing that they has, someone has suggested. It does not work. It don't work for me. So, I don't know what was I doing wrong. But it did not work for me. So what I know, I get all the ex excess um, <clears throat> glitter out of it. I normally let it dry, but since this is uh, 
we are on here right here I'm not so the next thing I'm going to do with this is and since I got this like this what I'm going to do is bling this out yeah you know how I feel about my blending so it already got self adhesive on it so I'm just gonna some of my stones are missing but this is just for training purposes so I'm not going to worry about that. And it's a little crooked. That is okay. But what would you would do is I can bring it up some. So to make sure it don't be crooked, you can put a little marker, get a marker on that marker that you can uh, take off, but this is how it will look just like that. Let me zoom in. So you have that little bling right there. So the next thing we're going to do with this is, now you can put ribbon on here if you want to. <clears throat> make a bow and uh, this is not big enough now grow gain would be great with this here this is where you grow gain to come in at And I have a lot of grow game ribbon, but of course, you know, with me doing this one, it did not, I did not have it. I couldn't find it. Because it would work better if I had the grow game ribbon. So what I'm just going to do is just do this. And I'm going to cut it. So I'm just going to do something totally different. Make this a little longer. Put a little glue on right here. And I did more than a little, guys. That's always. I always go over. Just go extra. Don't know why I do that. I'm gonna get a just one second. I'm just gonna take this and put it right there. course, you know, I just cut it wrong. Make it a little. A 
of course I would use better ribbon guys truly I would but this just training and I don't have the ribbon of choice that I want and uh, you can just put it right there this is not my best work because this is not what ribbon I would use so I'm not liking that so you know what I'm gonna do because I don't want you guys to see this is how it go though good so I'm gonna do this instead I'm just gonna add since I don't have what I really want Since I don't have my ribbon, ooh, child, check out all that fluff. So I'm liking that. Hey, Miss Georgia, how are you? So we make some on I think I like that one better anyway. And you put your little hook on there. Now, if you want to cut your uh, feathers down, you can. And I like it got the silver in it as well. So that's cute. I'm liking that. So we got that bling out ornament. I'm missing some stones though. I'm sorry. So we got to do a lollipop one. Let me show you how we do that one. So you would have to purchase these like this. Have you seen these at the Dollar Tree? This is how they make those lollipops. They just wrap them around just like I did earlier with the other one. So they, they would wrap them around just like that. Now I want to show you something else. We're going to make a one in here. thing right there. I want to do another one of these because I want to show you another way you can um, you see when I pour it in slower it was no bubbles. So that is the trick of not getting bubbles. Pouring it in slower not fast so that's why you would need to I use the funnel but now however you can do just what I did get a star foam cup or a plastic cup like I did and just um, bend it or you can get some uh, paper some stiff paper <clears throat> make it into a funnel and it'll work just fine as well Thanks, Miss Catherine. So, making some cute little ornaments. I know you guys have done these before, 
but I'm truly loving the bling. So if you wanted some bling ornaments, and then also you know they have these in pearls. You can wrap them around in pearls and put some feather on. That is super duper cute, guys. You can put that in your tree, just like these here, these big chunky ones. You can nestle them into the tree. And like I stated, you could also get the uh, the little pearls, pinions, stick them in there. All the big brooches, dude, those are cute too. Doing them like that with the brooches is super dope. So we're going to use some green glitter. I always use fine glitter. I like using fine glitter. And I'm going to tell you, if you wait, if you don't let all that uh, that wax come out, you'll have some chunks in there, like what I'm having now. This is where my uh, funnel will come in at. But me being who I am, Then I normally just knock it on out. Again, I'm just going to put the top back on. Reason being, not going to wait to completely dry, but I would, if you're doing it for yourself at home, wait to it dry. Do not do what I'm doing right now. I mean, but do this, what I'm doing, but don't rush it like I'm doing because time is an essence right now but what I'm doing is correct you do it just like that let me use this for this now we're going to do some Mod Podge guys I want to show you about this here I know I'm going to shake this up real quick get your little brush now, I normally get my brushes like from the, uh, if you want to get them from the dollar store, you can do that. But if I'm doing a painting, a sign, you can use it with your paint on the sign too. But I normally go, I got some brush that costs a little money, a little more money than a dollar store. If you want some real good brushes, uh, Michaels have it too. Or you in Hobby Lobby too, you just go into where they do the painting section and they have them in there. And what I'm going to do is take some red. So when you're using your glitter, use a, you can use paper or cardboard just to have it there. That way you can put your glitter back in there. Now I would make the Mod Podge come back down some more, all the way down, the feathers you want it to go down. And what I normally do, but I don't have my painter's tape, I would make zigzag painter's tape into there and just Mod Podge that. And then when I lift it up, It'll have those little zigzags in there. So, I think I'm going to do some more of this right down in here. Do you see what I'm doing? 
chat. That's why I got my apron on. Now, one thing about Mod Podge, don't panic because you could it'll come right off with some water. And it did because this is already wet, and I knew I was going to do that. So that's why I um, have it on. So, and all you're doing is again. You probably saying, Blaine, you wasting a lot of glitter. Child, I'm going to do it anyway, so I'm going to waste glitter regardless. This is if you want to do two-tone like this, having your glitter on the top of your ornament. You can do it just like that. And this is cute. You can put a little bow on it if you want to. Uh... But then what I would do after this completely dry, I will put another coat of Mod Podge on it. So that way the, the glitter won't start chipping away. It'll stay on. So that is cute. So we got this one that we did right here with the bling on it. And then we have this one. And then we made this cute little ball here. So the next one we're going to do would be, I'll make that lollipop right quick. I'm so nervous about that glitter, but I'm not worried about it because I don't have, I used to have carpet in here, and my husband took it up when, um, you know, when COVID first started, everybody had a lot of projects, so, and this was one of our projects to get the carpet off the floor because it was breathing ground for just a lot of dust, that's what it was, just a breathing ground for that. And I always keep a cup of water here, so if I'm painting or whatever else, you could just put your brush in there. And <clears throat> so you can get the brush cups. Uh, the dollar store have brush cups where you could just put your brush in there, and it'll work great. So, do you guys want to see how we do the lollipop? I wish I had the correct ribbon in here to put that bow on there. Uh, what are you putting on the Christmas ball? I'm putting Mod Podge on there. I put Mod Podge on it and went from there on that. So now we're going to do, I'm going to do a lollipop right quick for you guys. Let you guys see how that is work, how that works. Now with this one, again, like I stated earlier, if you're doing it in red, I would paint this whole entire thing red. That way, you would not have a problem with um, with doing that. So, we're going to do red on this one. Since we did white, the other one. And let's get the pen. And what I do is just stick it in here, just like this. Put some glue at the end because you, you don't want it to come out. Now, with this one being flat surface, what I do is I do start in the middle, but I go in in an angle. And that way you won't see it on the other side, because if you go in an angle, it's going to go straight in like that. And again, what we're going to do is put our glue on it. Just go all the way around. And this is exactly how they do the lollipops. 
you know, some may do it differently, but this is very user-friendly. It's not hard to do. It just takes some time. You have to be patient with it, though. Now, you can mix this up with white and uh, red. You can do black and white. It's good because, you know, black and white has been the thing. You know what? I forgot. I forgot to do my size first. One thing you want to do is do the size. Let me do that right quick. That way you can see the full effect of it. And I'm just going to... Because you want your size done. Sorry, guys. And that way, your size will be covered. So, sorry about that. But, in order for me to, for you to see the, how it's actually done, I want to do it right. Even though I feel like I'm rushing, hate that, but, now I had pulled everything out that I was going to do today. That way I can be a little prepared. So see, when you paint it red already, put some red on it, you won't see the whiteness when you uh, do your lollipop. So all we're doing, you want to do your size first. Sorry I had started with the other one. Truly, truly apologize. And you just press it down. And that way that side is done. Now, other people might do it a different way. This is how I do it. There's other ways you can do it. Trust me, you can. You know, like they always say, there's more than one way to skin a cat, so you can do it. scissors but I have to just roll with it
again you don't see that pen so now we're going to continue on So if you had the white and the red, look cute. I was looking to see if I can find the other ones I had made early up in the year. Thank you guys for the hearts. So now when you get your yarn, it won't look like mine. Mine has a lot of uh, fuzz on it because I didn't keep it in the bag. So I suggest to you, if keep it uh put it in a bag it, it does not come in a bag but it comes wrapped so you could just keep it in a bag and that way you can keep all the fuzz off of it So with that white band showing, you could just add another strip of uh, yarn there. But that's why I always say paint it. If you paint it, you're not going to have that problem. Because the red going to be showing and it's all just going to blend in. And I'm just going to put another strip of yarn there. I'm going to show you. I got glitter all on my table, so not just from the day, but from previous days working with glitter. See guys, this is why I like working with that thick yarn. 
And if you get glue on it, don't worry, it'll come right off. All you have to do is pull it. Not hard, but you know, just gradually pull it. Because you can see where I pulled it and then it's still on my fingertips. What I'm going to do is put another pin, put glue on it because you want it to stay in. So this is it. So this pin right here don't want to go all the way in. Let me redo it. There we go. do is bring that in just like that and now what I do I just press it down that way it'll be flat and smoother and take off all the excess glue that's on here and again your yarn will look better than mine mine has been in in the box with some stuff that and it wasn't covered up so it got a lot of fuzzy on it but this is how you make that lollipop but I want to show you something else on here you see I'm still trying to take this fuzz off of here but this is it this is how they do that guys and this is what you put in So I have a little stem. You can put this stem in here by, you can go where you started at. I just put it right there. Glue it down. But you would need a stronger, like an um, those wooden uh, picks that they have at Hobby Lobby that you can purchase separately. And then you can either paint it just like this, or you don't have to. But this is if you want to put it into your wreath. But trust me, it'll be much neater than this. I'm trying to see if I have one that I made that I had painted and everything. I just didn't have time to paint it. And this one here was, wasn't one of the projects to be doing today. So that's how you do that. You get your awl, put a hole in it, and then you just put it in there. Now, if you had a jewel or something right there, you can stick it right in there, and that'll be cute too. And then you could just um, lay it into your wreath. When I say lay it into, it's diagonal like that in there. You just put it in there, but put it in there where it'll stay though. So this is it, how you make that. So we made this one, and we made this one. Now you can make a large one like I did here. Now you could tell this one here, this is what, what I'm saying, if you keep it covered, 
like this one here when I made this one this is a fresh yarn I had not I kept it covered up in a bag to make sure I didn't get no fuss on it so this is how yours will be in the cute like being like the uh, I know you guys don't know about I don't know some of you guys do like the Atlanta Atlanta housewives giving each other the peach peach but that's it so we did that and made some other ornaments so next time I come on I want to have the right bow the right ribbon to put on that so you guys can see that and uh, I will be on tomorrow too tomorrow will be day seven of 12 days of Christmas so I don't know what I'll be making on that day but we're gonna be doing some fun stuff we're gonna do a gift thing what I'm thinking about doing is showing you guys how you could make a uh, have a little you know how you have a look I'm not going to tell you you just come on tomorrow and see and that way you can see all of that you can see how I make that but thank you guys for watching me thank you for being patient you know I came in impromptu because you know I've been out all day since early up today since 10 30 so I'm just not really getting home and I didn't even take off my clothes I said I'm just gonna jump on and let's get cracking so I hope you guys enjoyed it I'm sorry you had a little bloopers going on but that is okay that's what it's all about when you're doing stuff like that you know you're gonna have bloopers and you're gonna have all that good stuff on there that's what makes it fun and and learning but uh that is it thank you guys so much for watching me and I probably do what I'm gonna do is is do another tutorial with these so you guys can actually see how it's done from start to finish a painting thing and uh, do that oh uh, yeah that's what I'm gonna do I do a tutorial where you can just go in and go on and watch me and it'd be on one of those uh, it'd be a video tutorial that way you can see that how that's done so guys thank you guys for coming in today and I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your evening and uh, be blessed and remember like I always say put God first everything else will fall in line I love each and every one of you thank you for coming on tonight and I hope to see you tomorrow for day seven bye bye